Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick uh, review on this uh, brake fluid tester tool. I uh, bought this about a couple of days ago from uh, eBay. Paid about 23 bucks for it. And um, I'm going to check it out today, guys. See how it works. I'm going to be testing it out. I'm going to be testing it out with some new brake fluid, dot 3. As you can see, and with some water just to see you know how it reacts to it because as you all know or most of you brake fluid over time can get moisture in it and it breaks down over time you know so let's check it out guys and like i said this is the tool right here Let me put it this way so you guys can see better. This is how it comes, guys. And you can test with this. Uh, let's see here. Dot 3, dot 4, and 5.1. Right there. I never use 5.1, so I'm not sure what that's about. And it has a flashlight, high resolution, and it says accurate analysis. And this is the BF200 brake fluid tester. And the name is Yaw, Yawa. That's it. I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> and in the back here, it has the uh, features and instructions or whatever. This is it, guys. It also makes a beeping sound when the uh, brake fluid is bad. So this is it, guys. This is the one that we're going to be checking out. I already opened it. It takes uh, two AAA batteries. So it's very easy to open. You just open it like this. And this little card, you can take this out. And this is the tool. And this thing is like aluminum, so you can bend it every way or any way you want. And press the little button here, it turns on. It has a, a light, you can turn off the light also, right there, and turn it back on. I like it with the light on, because it looks nice. And it has a little light, another light on the tip, as you can see. If you're working in the dark, you want to see what you're doing, turn it on and turn it off. Now, as you can see here, it has a percentage, 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%. Up on top, if it's from 3 to 4%, that means it's bad. And if it's from 1% or 2%, that means it's good. And um, I'm guessing 0 0.5 is good also. And right now, this is for dot 3 fluid. So, here we go, guys. Okay, guys, here we go. I also wanted to show you this right here. It has the menu button. When you press that, it goes to dot four. So you can check dot three, dot four, and then if you press it again, it goes to dot 5.1. So we're going to check dot three because this is dot three right there. So now. We're going to open this up and um, let me put some gloves on because I don't want to touch this brake fluid on my hands. Because as you know, brake fluid is very corrosive. Don't let it get on your paint from your car because it will mess it up. 
So make sure when you guys are working on your car and you're pouring brake fluid, make sure you be very careful and put a rag or something under it so that stuff doesn't get on your paint. Okay guys, I put on some gloves already. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna insert the tip of this thing inside the, uh, the brake fluid. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some uh, brake fluid in that cap, and then I'm gonna test out this uh, this brake tool. Okay guys, here we go. As you can see, little cap has brake fluid. So let's see how this reacts. As you can see, Right there, it's by the 2% uh, line, and that means it's okay, guys. All right, you see it right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna test it out with water, and you guys will be able to see how it reacts to uh, moisture in the brake fluid. This is just an example of uh, how it reacts to old brake fluid when it has moisture in it or, you know, it's just worn already. So, as you can see here, I'm going to try it out with the water now. As you can see. So you can see guys, it went all the way up. That means this brake fluid is no, there's no it's, if this was brake fluid, it'd be no good right there. All right? As you can see, it's beeping also. There we go. That's the difference, guys. This will tell you right away if your brake fluid is not good. So it's a very nice handy tool to have and um, for all you do it yourselfers out there like me, this is a great tool to buy guys, having a toolbox. That's, it'll save you a lot of money on repairs. So also I wanted to share with you guys a few little uh, gadgets that I bought for my toolbox. I bought a socket holder and a few Tecton uh, sockets here. I bought these not too long ago. This is an AP set from Tecton 3 8. It goes all the way from 10 to 19. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and then it skips. No, it goes to 15 and then it skips to 17 and 19. They're very nice guys. Tecton. And I think I think I paid about I think it was like 35 bucks for these on eBay. So it wasn't bad at all. And this is the uh, the new socket holder that I got here. 
it's uh it has a big magnet inside and it holds the sockets as you can see they will not fall out guys it's very nice to have and it has uh, all the numbers there it goes all the way from uh, 6 all the way to 20 there you go and then on the top part it's the same the same thing 6 all the way to 20 but on top as you can see <clears throat> I put the uh, standard size here and then I put the metric on the bottom so you can do it either which way you want and you see the bottom that's how it looks and it's very nice guys and then the sockets are easy to take out you see just take them out like that and they stay put as soon as you put them in there that's it the magnet grabs them and it sticks onto them you see none of them come out see very nice guys and also <clears throat> I want to show you a 3H ratchet that I got used the other day because I like to buy used, used tools in good condition so I think this one is pretty good this one is called none better made in the USA very nice ratchet this is a half inch I put some oil in here, works beautiful. I tested it out the other day, works very good. Can't go wrong, guys. And this one I had in my other set, it's Craftman. This one is 3 eighths. I mean, um, half inch also. And I have another used one that I got online. This one, another half inch. No, this one I had for a long time, but I got it used also. This one is Armstrong. I got this one for a very good price also. Made in the USA. Very good ratchet here. There was another one that I bought used, but I think I have it in my other bag. I don't see it here. Also, this little one came in there too, Crushman. I bought this one used. And, um... It was like three ratchets and some sockets and stuff. I got it for like really cheap, guys. I think it was like like 20 bucks or 30 bucks, something like that. I think it was like 30 bucks. But um, yeah, I mean, as long as the tools are in very good condition and they're used, I don't mind getting them if, you know, if they're good. So, but most of the stuff I got here, you know, some of it is uh, very good quality. Some of it is, you know, so, so as long as I get this job done, I don't mind. And, um, yeah, I got Craftsman, I got a little bit of Matco, I got, um, Snap-on, um, Proto, Tekton, you know, a little bit of everything, guys. But like I said, it, to me, name brand is good, but I don't have to have it as long as you get the job done. I don't mind. I got Milwaukee, different stuff, guys. Um, Husky. As you can see there I got um where's the other one cobalt cobalt here the blue one you see cobalt there so yeah guys you know a little bit of everything and that's pretty much it guys that's the uh, the stuff I wanted to share with you guys so that's the test that's the tool and um, now you guys know, now you guys know, this is it. It's very good, very handy, it works very good. And um, like I said, for the price that I paid, it was like 23, 24 bucks. You can't go wrong, guys. Got the light, let me turn it on. You can turn that light off, you can turn it back on. And it has that light on. And it's a nice little tool, guys. And like I said, it, it works on brake fluid uh, .3, .4, and the uh, 0 0.5. So you can't go wrong. This nice little tool. And it uses, uh, like I said, two AAA batteries go back here. And that's it. 
So I hope this can help anybody out. Like, share, subscribe. And God bless, guys. Have a great day.